Hi, welcome to My Thoughts Exactly. I'm Paul Breland, and these are My Thoughts Exactly. So, uh, I think that uh, there's a, a, an idea about your theology and your mythology. And uh, I've been pondering this. I've talked about it a little bit in the past. Um, but I think people get confused when I use the word theology because they think I'm specifically talking about a... Uh, a, a, a standard, a form, you know, Methodist, Jewish, uh, Catholic, whatever. But you have your own theology, the things that define you, the things you define, the things that you hold sacred. For me, it's uh, water, birds, trees. Those are three of the things that I hold absolutely sacred. So that's part of my theology. Loyalty. It's part of my theology. Some people put an unbelievable amount of uh, a priority on loyalty. Some people don't care about loyalty. To me, loyalty is everything. Okay. Um, my theology includes earning respect. I'm polite to people. I am try to be nice to people. I, I'm not going to respect you out of hand. you got to earn it. And here's the reason why. I had to earn it. I don't want people to, to, to fear me or respect me because I want people to be, you know, to be kind to me because I'm one of God's children, just like I'd be kind to you. But so my theology is part of it is to be kind and part of it is to earn respect. Also keep an eye and give respect where it's earned. So so we all have our mythology. We absolutely all do. And our our theology. Our theology. We absolutely all do, and that's fine. You know, you can you can write it down. You can write a poem about it. You can write a song about it, or maybe just think about it. But you got to own it. You have to own your theology because that's what makes you unique. You know, everybody is the same, and everybody is different, right? There's a million fat Italian guys who think they invented the language. I'm just the one on in front of my phone right now. That's part of my theology. Now, there's a million of these guys who are just like me, but maybe they like football. I, I, I'm kind of over football. So my theology is Lucha Libre. Uh, a lot of these guys that are like me, maybe they're, uh, maybe they're big beef guys, or they eat, eat a lot of chicken. I'm a pork guy. I eat pork chops. Well, let's just say if I ever stop eating pork chops, the world may be overrun with piglets. So, and then there are deeper elements to, 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 to theology. There are deeper elements to mythology. I'm playing with this pen because I, I had an uh, abnormally good evening tonight. I had an amazingly good evening, uh, better than I've had in uh, many uh, moons. And uh, uh, just relaxing and, and lovely. And I was able to open up a little bit about my mythology and my theology, uh, which I don't normally do. Because people say, oh, you have a mythology? Yeah, I do. You do too. Won't be a baby. We all do. We all have a theology. We do. That's just what it is. You don't have to agree. You don't have to find it. You don't have to. I'm just telling you, when you do, you'll relax. When you find your theology, when you define it, the ultimate definition of mine comes down to the word writing. There's nothing in the world I care more about than writing and my lovely kid. Uh, I mean, I, my, I love my friends. My friends are beautiful, wonderful, intelligent people. But writing is the centerpiece of my theology and my mythology, for that matter. So I guess what I'm saying is, it's okay to, it's okay to be a little highfalutin. <laughs> it's the word highfalutin. It's okay to explore your theology and your mythology. It's okay to do a video about it, or write a story, or or not, or talk to your friends about it. Um, your beauty comes from your theology. Your beauty, which you have overflowing, comes from your understanding. Your, 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 maybe not even understanding your mythology, but it's there. I promise you. 
If you're a thinking, functioning, empathetic, caring human being, you have a theology. And, um, and be okay with that. If you've done anything in your life that does include sitting on a couch watching movie after movie after movie, uh, then you have a mythology. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with sitting on the couch watching movie after movie after movie after movie. I'm just not saying that. I am saying the more you've experienced in your life, the more mythology gets created. I have always told my writing students, reading is inhaling. Writing is exhaling. And I learned recently that the truth of the matter is living is inhaling. Writing is exhaling. So go and live. Go create. Go figure out what your theology is. Above all else, just remember the most important thing I'm going to say to you today. You're beautiful. You are beautiful and somebody loves you.